Good morning, everybody. How are you? It's me, Lauren. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a couple of days. Been kind of under the weather. But today is a beautiful day, and I woke up with a song in my heart. How many of you have ever woken up with a song in your heart? Or throughout the day, a song gets dropped into your heart, and you begin to sing the praises of the Lord. You know, uh, God spoke to Moses, and he gave Moses um, a commission to teach the Israelites a song that they would never forget. Isn't it funny how when we listen to the radio, we hear songs, and some of them are really catchy, and some of them are really melodic, some of them are not so great, and some of them are just trashy. God wants us to remember the good ones and to really be able to sing and to put into our heart and our mouth uh, the praises of him and his son, Jesus Christ. And um, I know that uh, in the morning, sometimes I wake up just, just glorifying the Lord with his song, with his praises, with his, um, just his, his, my thankfulness to him for what he has done for me. And um, songs remind me of what he has done for me. And, you know, I have a, an old time hymnal and uh, in, on page 198, there's a song called It Is Well With My Soul. And I'm sure those who have gone to church for a while uh, who are of my age, uh, I don't think the younger generation knows it, but there's some great hymns in this uh, particular songbook. And one of them is It Is Well With My Soul. And I, I just want to read you real quickly the first part of it. And it says, When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrow like sea billows roll. Whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. And the chorus goes, it is well with my soul. It is well, it is well with my soul. And you know, when you have the assurance that it is well with your soul, then you can sing songs like that. And the second verse goes, Though Satan should buffet, thou triest, no, I don't even know what it says. Thou try, trials should come. Let this blessed assurance control that Christ has regarded my helpless estate. Well, let me think about that. And has shed his own blood for my soul. So when the devil comes knocking at your door of your mind and he begins to tell you all these terrible things, start thinking about songs that praise and worship the Father. And when you do that, the devil will flee. I love uh, I Walk in the Garden, and uh, that's another song. Uh, it tells me that Jesus is beside me. He is with me all the time. And uh, I need that. And I know you do too. You need to know that Jesus is with you. And uh, I don't want you ever to forget that. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to read to you some out of Revelations because I need you to understand uh, what we as Christians must do. Um, if you don't know Christ, I'm going to invite you to come and meet him. He's my friend. He's my brother. He's my savior. He's the one who died for me. 
I was a sinner and, and very, very lost in this world. But Christ came and he found me at my point of need and he saved me and he gave me a new life and a new brain. <laughs> oh my goodness. And a new, new reason for living. And uh, I just would invite you to come meet him. And as you watch me throughout the weeks and the months, you'll see, and you'll see Christ in me, hopefully. And um, I hope one day you'll write me and say, you know, Lauren, I'd really like to know Jesus and that uh, we can pray together and that you will come into the fold and uh, your name will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I pray that for you today. I love you. I hope you have a blessed day. I'm off to the doctors again, so I will see you tomorrow, God willing. He has ordained tomorrow for me. See ya. Bye-bye.